time does not exist if there is no memory. <laughs> memory, you know, you were saying that we're seeing that time and, and, and psychology are connected and so on. You know, memory is what produced the concept of time, meaning because you can remember the moment before, you have a concept of some kind of linear progression of time. The main ingredient of time, or the main ingredient of memory, is space. Because if time is keeping track of information in the space that we call memory, it's like writing on a hard drive or on an optical disc, like a CD or a DVD, you're actually leaving a trail of information in the structure of space. And whatever defines coordinates in space is a set of information in the structure of space-time. You can get just from realizing that memory, if it's inherent to us, then it's inherent to the universe. That means that you should be able to use the network and transfer information from this side of the universe to the other side of the universe without having to go through all the points in between. So, you know, that can lead to very, very advanced civilizations. Well, like we were talking about the integration of all the bodies, you know, there's no longer a separation between right. technology and spirituality. I mean, spirituality in general is the physics we haven't understood yet. Um, spiritual concepts are typically precursor to the understanding of the dynamics of the mechanics of the universe, the way it works, just by mere fact that we're made of the universe, so we don't really have a choice on the matter.